So the fight night, Carol Rosa versus Norma Dumont is going to be part of the Pavlovich versus Blades, and the 22nd of April, 9 p.m. UK time. And um, basically, we we have here as a prediction. You can look at the statistics um, between the two. Um, Carol Rosa is 16 wins with four losses, and Norma Dumont has eight wins and two losses. Average fight time is pretty similar. They always had decisions most of the times. And Norma Dumont is slightly taller than Carol Rosa, which could be uh, could be an advantage here. Um, similar weight, similar reach, similar stance. Uh, Rosa is about 28 years old and, and a half uh, close to uh, ish. And uh, Dumont is tw 32 or in October. She's going to be 33. So it's going to have about four years between them. They're both pretty young. Um, just the defense here is showing that Rosa has 49% defense against significant strikes. And Dumont has better defense against it. But Aunt Rosa is lending my many more significant strikes. Six per minute. And... Dumont has only three, so Rosa is leading here. So these all the statistics. So we put um, the prediction here uh, in Gambling Furby's website. It's going to put a link below as well in the description. So what do we know about Carol Rosa? We know in the statistics she won the last fight against Landsberg, but she was a 1.29 favorite to win against Landsberg. Nonetheless, she managed to win with majority decision. She basically, one of the judges actually didn't even feel that Le uh, that Rosa won against Landsberg. So that's telling you something. And we also mentioned that in the UFC MMA, it's best to take the most recent fight as some form of understanding in order to predict what's what's going to happen next. So that's what happened between Rosa and Landsberg. What do we know about Norma Dumont? We know that her last fight against Wolf, she won it. And she lost against Chieson. And won against Ladd, Spencer. And But if we look in about two years ago, she lost against Megan Anderson. And we put a link to it on YouTube. You can watch the fight. And Anderson was taller. And she was even a bit stronger than her. Uh, considering the fact that she changed her weight several times. Um, same with Rosa. That she just moved uh, to this division. And you can still see that Dumont was playing the grappling game against Anderson. But it didn't work well for her. She was... Uh, Dumont, we're gonna fix it. Dumont was a four to one underdog in the fight, so odd makers were expecting Dumont to lose. If we go in forward, fast forward two years, we see completely new person in the UFC, and that's what we mentioned we think is going to win. So we think that there's a value bet here on Dumont to beat Rosa because not only does she has better defense against significant strikes. Uh, whatever she strikes, she strikes she strikes well. Yes, the statistics here showing that the accuracy is only 49%, but that's because we're taking many uh, all the fights into the record, and she kept on improving all the times. And we think that Rosso's pool defense is going to pay lots of dividends for her opponent. Basically, DeMont is going to win. So we think she's going to be a clear favorite here. And we expect the odds even to slightly change towards the fight and set DeMont as a favorite to win here. So, yeah, that's, that's very straightforward. If you like this prediction, let us know. And that's all for now. See you on the next one.